तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन सोरों की करो विदाई The amount of proof that Hinduism is no different and no less terroristic than Islam is just pretty much ongoing. It's on a regular basis that the Hindus prove that they're no different than the Muslims and that Hinduism is every bit as violent and terroristic as Islam. Just two sides of the same Luciferian Jesuit coin. And stuff like this just keeps proving my point, which, you know, as if you haven't, haven't already seen enough evidence. But uh, this is more on the lines of the fact that, you know, just like how if you insult the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad, their perverted false prophet, you're gonna have essentially attacked, you're gonna have your, your well-being put in danger. Well, same thing if you insult the Hindu deities, you know, you're gonna be attacked and beaten up. And this is just another example of this. This is on uh, Times Now News. It says, Dalit youth beaten with sticks for insulting gods and made to chant some kind of Hindu slogan there, I guess. It says, four persons allegedly belonging to the Hindu Valhini group claim that the victim identified as Vimpan Kumar insulted gods and goddesses. A shocking video has come to the fore in which da which a Dalit youth is seen being beaten up merciless, mercilessly with sticks by three men who hurled, who hurled abuses, beat him up, and forced him to chant this kind of Hindu slogan. Really, it's no different than what you could expect from a Muslim over a neighboring Pakistan if you insult Muhammad. Because what? It's just, again, it's no different than Islam. You know, Hindu terror. see, the Hindu terrorists are not terrorists, they're just Hindus. Just like how the Muslim terrorists are not terrorists, they're just Muslim. Continuing on, the incident took place in Maza Afarangers. I can't pronounce that, I'm not good at that. Uh, four persons allegedly belonged to the Hindu Bahani group. Uh, they, they already get, they listed that there. Kumar, 22, was later admitted to the hospital. The Uttar Pradesh, Pradesh however you say it, police, have registered a case under Section 307 of the IPC and the Scheduled Case and Scheduled Tribe uh, Prevention of Atrocities Act and launched a manhunt. The video clip of the assault belonging uh, is doing the rounds on social media. It shows a man wearing a black helmet, lying on the ground and being thrashed by at least three men. The fourth person recorded the incident. Meanwhile, the Sahid uh, Adam Singh Sina today threatened to launch an agitation if the, if the th sorry, threatened to launch agitation if the U UP police failed to arrest the accused by January 17th. The case is registered against the accused Rahul Dar Raj, Joda, and Kaku, uh, who both were, you know, they gave the whole thing there. So essentially, you know, they're demanding the arrest and prosecution of essentially blaspheming Hinduism. So really, what's what makes them any different than the Muslims over in Pakistan? See, it's just two forms of Satan's kingdom fighting each other. See, if if um, I was gonna, I've said this before, I'll say it again. Hindu Hindu mass Hindu migration would bring all the same problems as mass Muslim migration. You would have your life threatened if you're insulting Hinduism, just like how you'd have your life threatened if you're insulting the false prophet Muhammad. It's no different, and stuff like this just keeps proving not only the fact that they're no different Hinduism and Islam, but the fact that both of them fall under the category of John eight forty four and Proverbs eight verse thirty six about being death worship and being all about violence and murder. No different. So anyway, it's great when you're proven right, as if the amount of proof that I've already shown is is not enough. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.